Palapon 3 isn't like previous Palapon games. Actually, that's not true at all, but it is quite different. For starters, you don't get to command an entire Patapon army this time around. Just an elite squad of four units led by a powerful hero. Think of them as a Patapon A-Team. These crack commandos are controlled in the same way as their counterparts in previous games. Four sacred drums are mapped to the PSP face buttons, and by hitting different sequences of four beats in time with the music, you can give orders like advance, attack, and defend. There are only seven different orders available at the start, so it's not difficult to remember them all, and they're even displayed along the bottom of the screen in case you forget. It's a novel and satisfying way to command your forces as they march across the screen, and Padapon 3 is less punishing than previous games where the timing of your beats is concerned. It does place more importance on perfectly timed beats though, which can trigger your hero unit's super powerful special moves. As you progress through the game, decimating dragons and destroying demons, the Patapons level up and gain access to more powerful abilities and gear. They get so powerful, in fact, that where previous games generally required strategy to succeed, here it's often possible to just power through levels without giving too much thought to defense. There's still plenty of challenge to be found on the varied battlegrounds of Palapon 3, though, courtesy of adverse weather conditions, enemy forces, and huge bosses that become increasingly unpredictable as their health bars shrink. The team that you use to make it through one level won't necessarily be able to complete the next. So between missions, you have to spend some time swapping in different unit types and, when necessary, customizing their armor and weapons. It's fun to experiment with different setups, and because leveling up units that you don't use regularly unlocks abilities for those that you do, you handicap yourself if you just stick with your favorites. Leveling up other units can be a chore, though. Yes, you can give them high-level equipment and group them with your most powerful hero, but they still don't gain levels very quickly. New in Patapon 3's campaign are Versus missions, that once you've played them against bosses with names like Mad Fang Rage Wolf and Standoffish Sonaki, can be played online competitively between two teams of up to four players each. The best of these are obstacle races, in which two teams that start alongside each other must contend with obstructions and enemies en route to the finish line, and tower defense in which teams start at opposite ends of a battlefield and capture cannon emplacements as they head towards the inevitable fight in the middle. Both of these modes require more strategy than is immediately apparent, and are a lot of fun to play with heroes of similar levels. In addition to the versus battles and co-op support, Patapon 3's multiplayer suite boasts special dungeons, and the option to visit other players' hideouts and make use of their vendors and blacksmiths. There's even a clan system, though that's something of a misnomer given that you're required to form your own clan before you can get online. It's really just a fancy friends list, but it serves its purpose and at least makes it easier to find people to play with. Whether you're banging your drums solo or with friends, Padapon 3 delights at every opportunity. The upbeat soundtrack offers plenty of variations on the same theme for you to keep time with. The characters designed by French artist Rolito are wonderfully animated. And rare weapons are so gloriously over the top that they make those favored by Final Fantasy protagonists look like toothpicks. Thankfully, Palapon 3 is also the first game in the series to include a pause option. Though bizarrely, it's something that you have to unlock by completing a near perfect run against the clock on the first tutorial level. You might lament the heightened focus on gear and squad selection if you're a fan of previous games, but for $20, you're getting dozens of hours of great gameplay in Patapon 3. It doesn't matter if you played the previous Patapon games or not, once Patapon 3 gets a hold of you, it's almost impossible to resist, it's just one more try gameplay.